I'm here with Patrick Antonius, our eighth place finisher tonight. And Patrick, how did you feel about your play? I played it decently. I didn't have many cards, but um, what can I say? You made the right decisions? I think so, yeah. Nothing special. Okay, all right, good enough. And um, Loretta, who's sitting in seat eight, I understand she got a lesson from you today, is that right? Yes, she basically, this is the first time when she plays No Limit Hold'em. Uh, she's only seen this on the TV and she didn't even know the rules. <laughs> and I, 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 taught, I taught her like 30 minutes or 40 minutes today, like how to play basically basic poker and uh, she's doing pretty well. She's, uh, she's not doing everything what I'm saying, but, but, um, but she's, she's still, still alive. In still in and, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Can you believe amazing. that? 20, 30 minutes with Patrick Antonius, and you can still be at a final table. <laughs> yeah, she, your your she, teaching she, must be gold. She, she took like 90% from my tips today. So. She, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure how smart a move that was. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, thank yeah. Go ahead. No, I, just, I needed to call her with the draw, and I missed my draw. Mm. I just got part, part out. Um, I had the odds to call her. And... Um, I'm happy to be out. I can go home I can relax. go yeah, I can do that. That's fine too. <laughs> Who's your pick to win tonight? Mm, probably her. I, I mean I'm rooting okay, I'm rooting for her, but I probably think that Ken and James is gonna ah, take it down. another Ken and James vote. Yes, that's my guess. We'll see. Well congratulations on your eighth place finish. Thank you Thanks. for playing with us today. It's always good to see you. Good to see you. And Boston and Nicole, back to you. The land or the sea. The land or the sea. The land or the sea. Kenna. Oh, man. Everybody clearly enjoying the doers tonight. He's drinking doers. It's Nicole here with Boston. Yeah, exactly. I Shuffle up and deal. Let's go. That was amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything better. <laughs> the land of the sea. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Did you mean letter C? <laughs> Were you like the letter C? Canada. He was saying, he was saying Canada, the letter C. All right, the letter C. <laughs> I was like, you couldn't write uh, that shit. <laughs> and, uh, that was amazing. Does that make him a bad American? <laughs> it makes him a... Well, no, I shouldn't say that. He's had a little fun tonight. Let's put it that way. Oh, my. And there's more drinks coming to the table. Our great sponsor is Corona Light. People also have that. You see Jason drinking a Corona Light there. Proud to have him. bless the land and the sea of America. Did you know this, that Corona Light has taken over as the number one light beer import? Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Number one now. Oh. Jason's going to call here. Oh. And I'm not sure if Todd even laughed during that entire thing. <laughs> he's, 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 like, he's a pretty serious dude. Right, pretty se hey, oh, a smile. Like, holy huh? moly. <laughs> Deuce of diamonds, six of spades, ace of uh, diamonds there. Jason's got a gut shot to the three. Todd's got over as he hits the nine on the turn here. Oh, yeah, I get up next time. I'll work out there. I don't think uh, it's just heads up here. I win. Yeah, and Todd says I win, and he does. Here's a little. Uh, here's a little story for you. Danger over there in seat number two. Yeah. He was doing a pre-interview before the tournament started tonight with our own Kirsten Hill. He made Kirsten promise that if he wins the tournament, that she will go out with him on a date. Exactly. With danger. Yes. That's a mistake. I'm going to go and tell you right now, that is a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> Poor Kirsten, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So uh, I guess we're, maybe we're rooting for danger to bust out of this thing. Save our I mean, nothing against danger, but he is not the type of dude that you want to date if um, you're a respectable young lady. You can't take him home to meet the parents. Yeah, that would be rough. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he's from the jackass fame. Blackout. Blackout. Uh, 
Ken is going to raise here. 3,300. <laughs> Ken has got King Jack, Kojak, as we like to say. Oh, Ken takes down the pot there. Nobody no. calls. Some ugly hole cards, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Most of the time, that's what you see. I mean, it, it's crazy. You know, you know, most people don't actually hit a hand. If you can get to the flop with your position, you can make a bet. Most of the time, people miss it. You take it down. And in tournaments, when you get to the blind level, that becomes pretty important because you have to steal those blinds and annies to survive. <laughs> Button moves over here to Todd hey, Brunson, seat number one. <laughs> Valerie hey, hey. having a good time. <laughs> She's enjoying herself immensely. She'll be first to act here. Yes, Loves flying, Jason Priest. Chip, flying chips. Who doesn't love Jason like birds, birds, I know. Flying. I mean, he's a nice dude. I, mean, I don't love him like Valerie love loves him. Yeah, that's true. We'll leave. We'll give all our love that we have for Jason, whatever, yeah. whatever level that is. We'll add it to Valerie so she can have that much more love. <laughs> I think if we do that, things are going to get messy at the final table. I'm in the market. Fold around to the blinds here. Look at that. And uh, Danger has pocket fours. Jason with the eight nine uh, suited. I believe it's heads up here. Let's see. I think uh, Danger's going to raise it. Raises it twelve hundred bucks. Great. And he min raises it, and he's gonna what are you doing, man? get a call from Jason. I mean, what am I doing? I call the drunk call. <laughs> you challenge. Look at me. that. Oh man, what, what a, flop. a flop! Holy moly! Jason flops the flush. Danger doesn't even have a club in his hand here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Queen of Spades. Looked like the Queen of Clubs, but it actually is it's still a pretty good flop here. He's got a gut shot. With the club draw, Danger bets 1,200. Oh, excuse me, Jason bets 1,200 after Danger checks to him. Can Danger hang on to this hand at this point? Uh, no. At this point, you just give it up. <laughs> There's a queen ten deuce out there. Goes, I mean, unless you only put the guy on the draw, but you can see actually here with the under pair that Jason doesn't even have a hand yet, and he's all he's a he's a two to one favorite. He's sixty four percent to win the hand. He's got overs, a straight draw, and a club draw. He just has so many outs here that he's definitely the clear favorite. Because one of the clubs that Danger could use to hit a set here wouldn't even be good. I mean, one of the fours wouldn't even be good. Twelve. It is. Got and he does wow. call. Wow. Ten of, Ten of spades on the turn here. All right, make it 12. Now you'll see the percentages switch. Danger actually becomes a 56% favorite here. Uh, Jason still calls. He's still got a monster hand here. Jack, he hits the gut shot. Look at that. He hits the gut shot. It's the jack of spades. He actually makes a straight here, gets the check mark. This could be big trouble for Danger. Right? Well, if, yeah. he, if he tries to make a bluff here, Dave, he's... Yep, so he's going to, I'm going to go another. I'll check you. Ah, uh, he wisely checks. Jason should put in a nice little bet here. Ah, yes. Whoa, Jason I've checks it on the river. Scared, oh, I guess, of the, I guess the backdoor spades, maybe? <laughs> and I got a pair of fours. Oh, I got a pair of fours. You got me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 uh, no. Yeah. I don't. Oh, I see. Jason didn't know what he had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a, a little bit more inside information yeah. here. Yeah, please. Uh, and right tonight, there was a couple of times when Jason didn't know he had the straight, that he actually did have the straight. And he was sitting there, uh, just demise all over his face, just anguish, so upset. And then all the chips got pushed for the stack. He changed. He thought he was beat there. Luckily, Brad, the tournament director, pointed out that he actually had a straight. Lucky that Jason at least turned his cards over because he might just muck them. Some people actually, I've seen people do that. They muck a hand. So I muck a full house one time. Yeah, I yeah, did. No <laughs> so focused on the flush that he wasn't even looking for the straight anymore. Something like that, exactly. 